Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be adding an outlet from an existing light switch. So stay tuned and watch the video until the end to see how I complete the project. This is an important caution. The procedure shown in this video is for information and education purposes only. If you are not comfortable working with electrical wiring or electrical equipment, I would strongly suggest that you hire a licensed electrician. Working with electrical wiring or equipment can be dangerous and can cause serious injury if not handled properly. Before undertaking any kind of electrical work, always make sure that you follow your local electrical safety code. One critical requirement for adding an outlet from a light switch is that the light switch must have a white neutral wire. If you are working in an old home and you have a light switch like this, which only has a white wire wrapped with black tape and a black wire, then you are out of luck. That would mean that the switch box does not have a neutral in it. This is an older type of wiring where neutral was not required. Today, this type of wiring is not compliant with the electrical codes. Now whether the switch I am working on has a neutral wire or not, I won't know until I remove the cover plate and pull the switch out. For that, I will turn off the power first. Now the power is off, I will check with my touchless voltage tester whether it is really off. Next, I will remove the cover plate. Now I am going to remove the switch and pull it out. I see the white neutral wire here, so it is okay to proceed. That means it is very much possible to pull another wire from this switch box to the outlet box. On this switch, I can see two black wires connected to these two brass terminals. One of these wires is the line in and the other one is load going to the light fixture. I need to check which one of these is the line in and which one is the load. For that, I will have to turn on power again. With my touchless voltage tester, I will check which of these two black wires is line in. The black wire connected to the bottom screw, this is the line in. I can also check this from the wires outside the box. There you go. This wire is carrying the line and this wire is the load. There is no current in this wire. When I turn on the switch, then this wire will also show current flowing through it. I will now turn off power again and mark this wire. I will wrap this wire with some small tape to indicate that this wire is hot. I will now remove all these wires one by one. I know this wire is line in. I don't need to remove this black wire which is going to the light fixture because it will stay as is. I will remove the ground wire as well and move the switch aside. Pull out the white neutral wire, remove the wire nut and I will also remove the ground wire. I can see the ground wire coming from the line and from the load. They are connected to a pigtail here and that pigtail is connected to the screw in the switch box. I will remove all these ground wires, move this aside. Use a wire stripper and strip the white wires again about 5 eighths of an inch and keep them aside for now. This is the receptacle I am going to use today. It says here 15 amp 125 volts. This receptacle needs a 14-2 wire. The receptacle has two brass terminals on one side which are for the line. They are joined together with this small strip. On the other side we have two silver terminal and they are also joined with this small strip here. If this small strip is broken off then these two lines become separate and can be connected to two separate circuits. On this side we have green ground screw as well. The ground wire will be connected here. I will now pull a 14 to wire from the outlet box to the switch box. This video is not about how the wires are actually pulled through wall studs. This is just a demonstration of how the connections are made. Now we have the wire running from the outlet box to the switch box. This is a 14-2 wire. If I have a 20 ampere receptacle, then I would use a 12-2 wire. But for a 15 amp receptacle, 14-2 wire is enough. I'll put a sticker here. The wires on this side have already been stripped. I will now strip these wires about 5 eighths of an inch. I will take a 3-pin Vago lever nut connector and join all white wires together. Insert the wires one by one all the way in and press the lever down. 
give it a little pull to make sure they are connected this move this aside for now next i will take care of the ground wires ground wire coming from the outlet box one ground wire coming from the circuit breaker and the other wire going to the light fixture i will use a pigtail to connect the ground terminal of this switch to the other grounds i will twist all these grounds together cut the extra wires i will keep one and connect to the metal box so in order to connect the line to the switch again i will take another pigtail connect this side to the switch I know this is line in, so I can remove the tape now. Strip this. I'll use three pin Vago connector to connect all three black wires. Pull them a bit to make sure they are firmly connected. I can now push all these wires inside the box. I'll make those connections, check the connections, and then tighten the screws. On this side, the ground wire is connected to the green terminal of the screw. The white neutral is connected to one of these two silver screws. And the black wire is connected to one of these two brass screws. I'll make the ground connection first. White neutral. and the black line in i will use black tape here around these screws around the terminals to make sure that the line does not touch the ground wire or the box just to avoid a short circuit push the wires all the way inside and tighten the screws Before I tighten the switch back to the switch box, I would like to test that both the light as well as the receptacle is working. For that, I will go and turn on the power. Light works good. I will test the receptacle with this receptacle tester from Client Tools. These two orange lights indicate that the wiring is correct and the receptacle is working. Test the bottom one as well. Another thing I have to test is that the receptacle does not turn off when I turn off the light. So both the light fixture as well as the receptacle, they are independent. I can now go ahead and tighten the screws of the switch and install cover plates on both the switch as well as the receptacle. light works and the receptacle also works when the light is off receptacle is still on that means both are independent now this project is complete thanks for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel i'll see you next time until then please take care